I'm going to make some sriracha hummus. This is by far the best hummus I have ever had. I've made my own hummus, my own recipes. I've gotten recipes off the internet, off YouTube. But by far, this one is the best. I finally found my favorite. And it has sriracha. I, I'm assuming that's how you say it. Um, but I got this recipe off of budgetbites.com. And I will leave a link in the description box below. So the first thing is you got to have garbanzo beans. And I'm going to drain these. Some people call them chickpeas. Some people call them garbanzo beans. So I'm going to rinse them off a little bit here. And I just use a small little food processor as you see here it's not very big and I just add those in there and then it calls for two tablespoons of olive oil and if you need to thin it a little bit more you can use more olive oil or a little bit of water And then one clove of garlic. That's a pretty big clove, and I like a lot of garlic, so that's good. And a quarter cup of tahini. Then it also calls for a quarter cup of lemon juice. And I'm going to cut these lemon up, lemons up, and I'll be right back. Okay, a quarter cup of lemon juice, and I did get some seeds in there, so. A half a tablespoon of salt, and I like this real food sea salt, Himalayan pink salt. And it calls for a quarter or a eighth of a teaspoon of cumin, or some people call it camino. I'm actually going to use a, a quarter. And actually, you can even use more. It's just however you like it. And for the best part, depends on how hot you like it. And you might want to make a batch, the first batch, with one tablespoon. But I put two tablespoons, and it's really good. It's really spicy, so. There we go. Two. Put the lid on, mix it up. And I'm going to stop the video to stir it up so you don't have to listen to it. And I'll bring you back. Okay, I got it mixed up. Let's take a taste test. I'm just going to taste it with a cracker. It's a toasted sesame cracker. Oh, well, I got some extra sriracha. Mmm. That is the best hummus. I like the consistency. It's not too dry. The other ones I've had before, I had to add a whole lot of olive oil, which is obviously more fattening. But this, I think because of the sriracha, it thins it out, so you don't have to use as much olive oil. But this is fantastic. I really hope you try this. I think you'll really, really like it. This is really good. I'm going to use this as a spread for two things. One for the lettuce wrap today at lunch that I'm going to have, and then also for my falafels. 
So I'm going to use this as a spread. So I may bring you back for one of those videos. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.